Hey guys, so in today's video, I wanted to talk about a new feature called admin roles for Facebook pages. And let me give you a little background information. So in the past, you only had one level of admin access. And what this meant was that someone could accidentally go in and delete people that were fans. They could delete you as an admin. And basically, it made it extremely difficult to manage your Facebook page. So luckily, Facebook has added in this new feature and there are a number of different roles they've created. So let's quickly show you how you access these and how you set the different admin roles. So to get started, all you need to do is go to your Facebook page that you're an admin on and go to the admin panel button in the top right hand corner. Next, select edit page and then go down to the section that says admin roles. And what you're gonna see here now is you're gonna see the different people you have set up as admins. And what's new is you're gonna have a drop down menu. So let's quickly run through what each of these different roles does. The first admin role is the manager, and they're basically a super admin. They can do anything they want to on a Facebook page. Here's a quick rundown on what their responsibilities are. The second admin role is the content creator, and they can do anything a manager can, except they can't access the admins. The third type of admin role is the moderator, and this is the person that basically would have responding to comments, deleting comments, sending messages. The fourth admin role is the advertiser, and this is basically the person who can just create Facebook ads for your page and view the insights. The fifth admin role is the insights analyst, and basically all they can do is look at Facebook insights for your Facebook page. So once you've assigned an admin role to a page admin, all you have to do is click save and you're going to be prompted for a password. And this password is the password you use to log into your Facebook profile. For anyone who has a Facebook page that has multiple admins, I strongly suggest you review the different admin roles and assign them appropriately to your different admins. This way you don't accidentally lose your Facebook page and you know get into some hot water there. So should you have any questions on this, feel free to send me a message on my Facebook page. As always, thanks for watching.